Christian Lagarde made a statement when she called on President Akufuado at the Jubilee House in Accra. She noted that the IMF would like to continue to be of support to Ghana. To continue to give you uh, the, uh, the advice that, that uh, is based on a joint objective and a joint vision of reconciling uh, the imperative of democracy, which is built on your political maturity in Ghana, and the fiscal responsibility that will be based on a smart mixture between domestic revenue mobilization and uh, and debt so that it is sustainable and it, you can respond to the to the demand of development the imf she said will continue to be the ruthless truth teller because because that's that's the, the best service that we can provide to our members, particularly when they have the affirmed vision that you have for the country. So you can really count on, on us, on me, uh, to tell you in the, in the weeds and the nitty-gritty details wherever we see that there is a risk, because it, it boils down to details. President Akufad noted that governments want to discipline itself in a manner that the economy won't be able to grow on its own. I know that there's a lot of talk in many circles when we get out of the IMF program, we're going to go on some huge borrowing binge and, and all of that and, and throw the rules aside. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that to some extent, Madam, is because we don't want to come back inside the program. <laughs> In exiting this program, it is very much our intention that our relations with the IMF continue on a strong basis. We want you there as our advisors, technical advisors, holding our hand, with, uh, talking to us when you see things are, uh, are not where they should be, and generally encouraging us in the, in the, in the path which we have taken which is of stability in our macroeconomy, to be able to permit us that medium long-term growth that will address the problems of our country. From the Jubilee House in Accra, Adele Kwesi, much to you, reporting for Metro News.